We're doing ah, welcome to 1002, the after show. It's the mellow edition. Not so mellow. We just finished a 15-minute argument between me, my producer Makai, and everybody else who, you know, are a little bit more liberal-leaning than me. Makai, do you want to fill in everybody uh, as to what the last argument... Are you even speaking to me? No, of it's course. No, I, I respect... I spent a weekend in Montreal in bed with another producer, and this is how you repay me! <laughs> I, a little bit I want to actually ask that. What do you what do you wear to bed when you're at, white, at, at home with your wife, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, being so I do mind you asking. Do you? Yeah. You don't want to talk about this? I usually wear boxers and a t-shirt, okay. perhaps. So, so if it's and, chilly. And, and, and my, what, my nipples tend to get hard, and, and it's a little chilly in the room, so I put a t-shirt on. And what do you wear when you're sleeping about oh. Jamie Hoffing? I, I just want to three-piece suit. Thank yeah, I, I, I do. I do. Cumberbond tie, vest, the whole bit. As much as I don't want to picture this. I also do well, want to picture explain. this. I actually what, no. I can explain. You, I can you, you the explain this on air already. I want to know what did you wear in bed with Jamie Hoffing? What I would wear to bed with my wife. <laughs> Boxers and t-shirts. I wore actually a pair of shorts and shorts a t-shirt. And t-shirt. So but what I had no Jamie world. do because he wasn't getting the comforter in any way because I, I didn't want any foot contact, uncomfortable foot contact yeah. or anything to that effect. So I had him sort of split the bed with a, a blanket. You know how you get an extra blanket in the room. So I had him do that, and then he had. A little piece of the sheet that I would give him, and another so little uh, another little blanket to throw over himself. So there was a divider. We had a divider that was put in place. Oh, okay. If you must know, is that better? So for you, you were going to spoon okay. the divider, better. not so much Jay. No, there was some times where I leaned, did the lean, and oh, I was like, oh. Can I ask you another personal question? Sure. This is a lot of fun. It's like being on uh, Oprah. Did you? <laughs> Without the attitude. Did you <laughs> wake up with a oh, no. hangover? Oh no. Oh. <gasps> we all thought it was going somewhere else with that. Wow. Really? Oh. Woo! Oh. <laughs> uh, you know what? We, we didn't get I don't care what the answer is. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I just want to see the look on your face. Uh, we, we worked pretty hard, and there was hardly a. a you worked pretty what? <laughs> 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 what do you have tomorrow, boy? All right. um, this is all because he's jealous that he didn't go, for the record. And didn't get spooned, of course. No yeah. spooning. There's always tonight. There's always <laughs> tonight. Um, I smoke a big fatty before that happens. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you think a neighborhood park goes for these days? Five hundred thousand. If I wanted to buy, yeah. One? If you want to buy a, a neighborhood park, I and this know, is, but this sounds tempting. It's uh, I'm trying to think. Does the, the park I'm, have a bar? Um, it could. Well, Monkey can, bars. You, you buy it. You get, it's oh, it's point. It's uh, point four hectares. It's, it's a good sized park. What do you? How much do you think that goes for in the 10 GTA? Grand. Really? Fifteen grand? I don't know. Fifteen grand. I've never bought a park. Really? Fifteen grand. Yes. Does that not seem exceptionally low to you? So why are this, am I right? So yes, dirty. I'm right. The city of Oshawa is selling a park for fifteen grand to a developer. Uh, who's going to uh, put up a 24-unit 24, yeah, 24 apartment building, uh, parking, sp- sorry, apartment building with parking spaces, the whole the, the whole works. Uh, and it's 15000 That's what the developer's that's getting cheap. it for. Really what is the first thing that comes to your mind Why when you're doing this parks deal? So Amy Poehler's then? Parks and Recreation no. Show. No. Because it's fantastic. It's on NBC's new Must See Thursdays. No. Oh. You think of backroom deals, briefcases. Are you making allegations yes. of backroom dealing? In Oshawa. Okay. Yeah, something, something here doesn't The opinions right. expressed by Mackay Taggart, that the producer of the show, are not, also so, not solely those of the show, but solely of his. You texted <laughs> me about this on a Saturday or a late on a Friday and when I was almost ready to go home and so I had to spend all weekend chasing this guy. What do we got? Him. It's the Sheik's Batmobile. Shake and shake. Shake. It's all about uh, what ready, happens yeah, to our fun. pop culture when it meets another culture head on. And it's going to be an interesting, uh, it's, it, well, it is, it's it's especially one that, Very according true. to some, is completely at odds with our own. So we're exactly. going to talk a little bit about that. Yeah. We're going to talk to the author. That's going to be on Thursday. Actually, this we're is going we're... extra long. Can we just wrap this okay, up? Sure. I we have a big week in terms of guests. You chasing, missed me, I understand. But... Chasing Tony Blair. Chasing, is that the name of a new book, or is that what you're doing? <laughs> uh, nope. Real Tony Blair. We got that. We got a lot more still to come. Don't forget to check out me against Sid Sixero on uh, the website. We'll keep that up for a few days longer. But for now, that's 10.02.